This natural base is horrible. <laughs> okay, so Teddy Bear is going to play normal. Antique is ready. Current reigning champion. I think I would say um, El Bowser has been the champion here, though. He's won the most games, I think. We lost versus that one guy who just had to leave again. I should eat something. Varför nog? Kommer du dock inte bilen ut och hämta brillor ut en linser? Ah. Jag kastar nog. Um. Okay, my wife's gonna cast for a little bit. You said you would. <laughs> okay, first of all, I have to speak English. Second of all, this is Teddy Bear. He's gonna play versus uh, Antique. So, uh, my wife's gonna be casting for a little bit. She has no idea what Starcraft basically. Well, um, okay, that's that's a little bit too much, but she knows what Starcraft is. But um, yeah. No, I'm just I'm just talking to an empty crowd. I'm talking to these guys here in chat. Where where are they? These guys. These guys. Well, how many do we have there? Yes. So when you want to move around on the map, you press this key, you hold it in, and then you just move like that. And if you want to jump to some this ah. If you want to jump somewhere, you just press over here, and then you move around like that. Okay. Good luck. No ah. What? But you're typing now. Okay, there we go. Ah, go ah. Just press ah, and just move the mouse. And let go ah, and then nothing happens when you move the mouse. Not much, at least. Okay. Good luck. Um, yeah. No stereo, Ellie. Hello, Starbo fans. This is Xephias's wife who forgot her glasses in the car, took off her contacts, was naked, and he has to go and get them, because I don't have the energy to put on clothes. So please do not leave, because he's gone. He'll be back in a minute. We'll see how first fast a nerd can run. I have no idea how to watch the chat, so I will not hear anything. I'm watching someone making something with the blue crystals. That's interesting. How do I get chat? We have Teddy Bear versus Anik. It looks like the... No, wait. Where's the numbers? I have no clue what's going on, but I can move... <gasps> what's that? Do they like have animals here that have nothing to do with anything? That's not what Day9 talked about, the panda bear guy, or... That is a nasty bear. So please hang on, he should be back in a second. Okay, so someone's building something there, and here's another beast. What are these animals? And dancing flowers, it's beautiful. <gasps> Waterfall, Who oh, he's back! Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. <laughs> Shut up! I still haven't found anything else than that. <gasps> here's something happening! Okay, I found someone. <laughs> they look masculine. Okay, here you go. Yeah, you're welcome. No, you can't read the chat while you're... Oh, you're zoomed in. Okay. Oh, that's such a matter of pylon to block the tech lab. That's kind of funny. Björn Gräna? Yes, Huh? Huh? They're just critters. Where? Where? Why are the flowers dancing? They're just blowing in the wind, I suppose. <laughs> so that was my w lovely wife. I hope hope you enjoyed her casting. Um, well, let's see. Good job. <laughs> Thank like you. The sounds of a thousand feathers. Hey, I put on some clothing. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> <sighs> okay. No, I'm not naked anymore. <laughs> 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 oh great! I'll take a picture of her and send it. I'm just kidding. Uh, so um, I'm gonna try and get uh, back into casting again now. <laughs> we have a sentinel moving out here. Teddy bear's doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, so uh, poor Antique is gonna try and take this horrible natural base. Um, seems like Teddy bear wants to do the same. 
This, this, what? We have four bases per player on this map. This map is incredible. And some guys online. Oh, nice little no war there. I like it. Tickling antique. You're get, getting tickled, son. You better run away. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I, I want to see a Starcraft to this. It's just tickling. Tickling away. Uh, Goliath incoming, yes. It's gonna get as soon as another energy for another one. No, energy regeneration is horribly long. And here comes the Goliath to kill off the Sentinel. But Sentinel is fast. I'm fairly fast. I like the Noble right here. If it's ever gonna push, it's gonna get at least one hit off. Uh, well, within the next so so minute. Hey, Gidrum, I'm intense then. Gidrum, smell it. Nekke, we're from smell it, man. Huh? Yeah, I'll have to show it. Ingen effect. Oh, he's gonna target down Nolwards. I like it. But he's not gonna get this one. No, he's not. He's gonna get the Siege Tank. Almost got splash damage on his Sentinels. Yes, he did, actually. He's gonna splash his own Sentinel there. Uh, more Sentinels incoming. Wow, how many, how many is he gonna make? I think three is the magical number. Three, four Sentinels, I guess, is pretty good. Thank you. I'm gonna... Sorry. Okay, let's put on some epic music while we try to... Control F, I think. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, oh, the language that you heard in the background is Norwegian. I'm, no I'm from I'm from Norwegia, so we speak Norwegian. Um, Norwegia has one of the bestest educational systems in all of the four countries of the world. So let me uh, get into some epic music here. There we go. Okay, not that one. I can't stand that singing. Stop singing. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think. Kind of random passes. Okay, cool. Music. Uh, so it's going to try and do some harassment with these sentinels. I'm going to try and not eat slowly. That was probably super loud crunching. Sorry about that. Not the best food for casting, huh? Sorry, I've been casting for a while. I'm getting pretty, pretty hungry. Oh, nice. Going to take down the marine. It gets the marine. No, he doesn't. The marine escapes with three hit points. Medic. There is no medics, but the lunar transmitter is on the way. It's gonna help him see the marine very well. For those of you, those of you who don't know, the lighter transmitter. Sorry, lighter transmitter is the upgrade that is now upgraded that uh, makes it so scan doesn't require energy anymore. So you can use all that energy for overcharge in the late game, since you usually want to scan quite a lot in the late game. I guess it's kind of upgrade makes kind of sense. Oh, is he gonna? The Nullward is gonna go off. Bam! And he really wants to finish that missile turret. Now, taking your natural can be hazardous on this map, but taking a third? Like, where do you expand from here? I guess you could try and take this space. Okay, yeah, that one, that one actually makes a lot of sense. Because, actually, if you can defend here... And here, then you just find. I can actually blink over here. <laughs> this map. Oh, this map is incredible. So, not a lot of stuff going on. Antique is gearing up for going for a mech push, it seems. Um, Teddy Bear, this is actually a surprisingly normal game. I'm trying to adapt to their um, environments by sticking with the main game that they like. Let's follow this while we eat some more. Nothing more epic than me crunching down these, um, I have no idea what this is in English, weird Norwegian food, listening to this music at the same time. We got a vulture on the map, he's trying to place out in spider mine, so going to see what's going on. He's going to find this eventually, unless he gets killed on the way. Um, there's the bear. Oh, kills the marine. Oh, the poor marine who barely survived. Eats the Null Ward. Like, I'm, I'm gonna say right now, this is the grand final. Um, this is actually. Um, So 
so there we go. I don't think there's any posters yet, but I'm gonna check right now. I'm gonna follow this harassment a little bit. Uh, yeah, I guess this is gonna be a very effective harassment. So we actually went through all the Star Dodge maps now. That's really cool. So, um, tomorrow morning, I suppose. I mean, of course, these are the... <laughs> are there any posters on this one? No, I don't think so. I think we've seen all the posters that were placed out here, which were awesome, by the way. No, there's no posters on this one. It doesn't really fit the posters. I like the Dark Templars. Oh, that... Note wasn't that good. It's interesting listening to. Ooh, music and not hitting the notes. I really gotta make remove that. Let me just do that right now. Uh, controls. Ena uh, enable mouse scroll. Is that it? Yes, good. No mouse scroll. So actually, I like Antique taking the the center here. He's actually playing this like you would play it early on. Uh, he's gonna make sure there's no expansion there. No, he's actually gonna kill off the DT. Ooh. Oh, it's even. <laughs> yeah. That defense, man. That's that's some good defense right there. That rock really, really makes for some good defense. I don't know if how Teddy Bear can deal with this. He's gonna get himself in a very interesting position. Oh, losing a lot of observers at the same time. But Teddy Bear does have the supply advantage. He has a very compact base. This is like a base dot zip here. Look at that. It's so comprised. Almost, almost like he paid for Winrar. That would be a good April Fool if Winrar all of a sudden uh, went. Like I, it always says, it has expired, but there's no payment. But if they actually demanded payment, that would be a good April Fool joke. Oh, the No Lords goes off on the harass harassers. Mines versus mines, a lot of dead units. I'm gonna have more DTs. See if they can. At some point, if you just send enough DTs at this rock, you will eventually kill it. That's that's a good philosophy. So we're gonna see what the Walters are up to. <laughs> Thank you, Jesu Christus, to for uh, for translating my Norwegian. Appreciate it. Break bread. I don't know if that's a good translation. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, it's a it's a um, it's a direct translation, that's for sure. Oh, but he's gonna get the no, we didn't get the missile turret, but he got a couple of vultures though. So, and and now the rocks are open. You can't rebuild those rocks, but I like the addition of unselectable mines. I it's so weird, I can't select them anymore. I guess there's really no point to select them. And here, have some units. Thank you, says Antique, and kills them. I think the whole thing with epic music is kind of like, right now it's kind of lost its purpose. Oh wow! Those mines, man. They're vicious. They're fierce. So we got uh, Arbiter and Recall incoming. Oh, you have to research both Recall and Stasis? I didn't know that. Oh, that's all in the wall! But the Vultures are there to greet the Zealots with their friendly grenades. So we got an Arbiter incoming. You have a surprisingly small army compared to that his army size is surprisingly large. Okay, so the walls are down. I mean, the rocks are down. We got a lot of workers here. This is a surprisingly long game too for how few bases there are on this map. In general, the, the game seems to be a lot longer on Starbo on these old maps than they do in StarCraft 2. Which is actually not that surprising because Starbo maps in general are smaller even though they're not designed the way that these maps are. So here we go, he's gonna attack down the middle. At the same time, Antique is going to harassing uh, the Teddy Bear's third. Teddy Bear, such an intimidating name for a Protoss player. Um, we have, oh, is he gonna try and recall his army over here to the other side, or is he just gonna lose it? He is actually just gonna pull back, which I think is smart. Oh, and recall isn't even finished, so he couldn't have done that. But he, oh, nice, DT and Zealot has cleaned this up. So it has kind of stabilized. We still have some incredibly annoying siege tanks on the low ground. Have this just been transformed into doodads and not the site blockers? Oh, I think they're still blocking sites. Is he gonna try and attack down this line? I like how Antique is setting up for this. Oh, and they're not. He needs to scan, he needs to scan. Oh, they go off though as soon as someone gets out of the cloak zone. Oh, but this is a nice concave for Terran. I don't really think there's much Antique can do. Can he get the stasis off or. No, he gets nothing off and he just gets killed by the. 
Vikings and the Goliaths. I don't think there's anything Teddy Bear can do at this point except for make a lot lots of Dark Templars. No. Just pray there's no detection, but there is a science missile. I guess hmm, he could have face missile that. This music isn't that epic, it's more like happy pirate music. Wow, that's a big chunk of a building. He should just try and circumvent the army and just try and kill. Yes, he should go around here and just kill here. And he is, but that's just not enough units to do anything, to be honest. Can't Teddy Bear come back? Oh, so many Dark Templars. Could try and go and kill the natural and then go into the main base for the 13th time, but he scans and he sees the movements of the army. Is he reacting to it? Now he's sending something in. Yes, he is reacting there. In the meantime, he's slowly, slowly chipping away at the space. And here comes the minefield. Gonna. Ooh, wow, they do go long now. Oh, I, yeah, try to fix that bug, so that's why they do that, I think. So he's gonna try and break this wall with the DTs. The DTs do a lot of damage, but they're gonna die so fast to the siege tanks. And. No, kills all the DTs, and he's not really gonna do anything here. And Teddy Bear really has to go home with the leg behind his tails. And I think this is it for Teddy Bear. Antique, maybe being the new Starbo, King of the Hill champion, being rusty for having played in a while. First beating the current Starbo champion, Deathblood, although he was off racing. And now killing Teddy Bear, who's just been playing some games. And been very helpful and wanting to play. I like him placing it right behind there. So, the Dragoons can't really see him. That's so mean. Man, this break bread is making my horse. My throat horse. Throat dry, voice horse, whatever. It's making me a horse. Uh, but this army from Antique is so big, he's almost maxed. And there's very little Teddy Bear can do. We can recall! But he has no units. There's the units. Let's go for this. Ah, oh, recall! Oh, recall! Ah, oh, recall! Recall, 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 recall! Look at that. I can speak Korean. And that's a lot of DTs in Zealots, man. Ah, oh, recall DTs! Ah, uh, recall Dark Templars! And. Okay, okay, this is just turning into me being racist, so I'm gonna stop right now. And it's not gonna do that much, but it was a nice recall. You can kill off some supply depots, I suppose. But yeah, I think that was like the last breath of Teddy Bear. I've been saying that a couple of times now, but I think this is really it. I don't think there's anything Teddy Bear can do from this point. It's just been... Like, the, the fact that Antique got this position set up is pretty much the end of the game, I think. And he had a couple of engagements that were pretty bad. DT's still doing their work, man. But here comes the Science Vessel. He even has an EMP ready. I don't think EMP even needs research. Yes, it does. I think it does. Can't check it now. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of Teddy Bear. I mean, uh, my wife and gentlemen, this is the end of Teddy Bear. Oh, here we go. Teddy Bear coming in from the flank, though. He's gonna bring in units. Oh, EMP even. Yeah, this is this is it. GD well played! Antique is victorious and my wife is dropping a thermos on the ground. Maybe waking our kids? 